what's TV for you? Good question. Could you bring my name up here? Let's say. Uh, right there. Spell it right. Oh! oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> Square Eyes is 10 days of screenings, Q&As, events, panels, workshops, many, many things all in one place here at the Midlands Arts Centre. What I'm hoping to do with the festival is have something that is like sort of a hub for those kinds of people. So we'll bring people here in the industry they can talk to, they can chat with, they can hear from about how to get a foot in the door. And also right off the back of the fact that you know, there's more production happening here. Doesn't matter if you have zero interest in getting into the industry. If you just like watching television, you want to know a bit more about these TV shows that you watch, then this would be the perfect place to do it. Hopefully the festival is an, an example and a chance for people who might want to get into the industry to come and see and, and think to themselves, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I can, I can do that here. Things are being made here and it isn't closed off to me. So it's a bit of both really, it's for people who are looking ahead to their career and it's for people who just want to come and have some fun. TV at its core for me is storytelling and that's never changed. What has changed is how people watch it. The screen's getting smaller, the screen's becoming portable, the screen is many different things now. And again, that's a really interesting area because for a while it was the box, you know, that's completely changed now and at a rapid, rapid pace. And so we look at the past with the festival, we look at the present and we look at the future. I grew up in an area that wasn't really that diverse and TV was actually the, the one thing where I just saw all these different stories and all these different people and all these different viewpoints and I love hearing from people from other worlds and backgrounds, communities. I genuinely attribute that to television and watching those shows when I was younger because I didn't see a lot of those people until I saw them on television. And so television is a powerful thing, I think. And so that, for me, is what the festival celebrates too. And one of the main reasons I wanted to do it. So yeah, I hope you get that from it too. It includes the great line as well, to catch a gigolo, I had to become a gigolo. <laughs> That's one of my favourite TV lines ever. Who would love to have that Bruce of Monty as their And actually, that's again sort of the appeal for me of doing the festival is we can put those things in. I'll be interested to see how many people actually would come to them. Because was I the only person watching that when it was on at like, you know, kept jumping around at 6.30 on BBC2 or whatever? And I don't think I was the only person watching. I think there were other people and I think there's there's a tribe for every TV show out there. Yeah, I'll open the doors on my own. So you can buy tickets uh, on the website, um, as normal, you can buy them in person or on the phone if you like using phones. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, you can buy tickets on the website, you can buy them in person, you can buy them on the phone, um, you can buy them on the day or book in advance. So yeah, there's, there's many ways to do it and hopefully you'll come along, you'll enjoy yourself and feel like that was worth doing. What happens if they come away from it not uh, That's true. If they do do that, I might troll them online, I'll find them online, um, and I'll say, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you enjoy that? I put a lot of work into that. Um, a lot of work goes into these things. You don't appreciate that. Um, and then they'd say, can you just leave me alone? I'd say, no, that's fair.